Alrighty, guys, welcome back. Earlier, we were talking about um, should the gal da- oh my gosh should the Dallas Cowboys bring back Ezekiel Elliott? And now we're going to be talking about Anthony Davis credits LeBron James for working on a three point shot. But before we do that, I just wanted to remind you guys to like and follow the show. We get a number of questions from viewers that come in during the show. So to ensure that your question gets right on the air, I ask that you use the tips and donation link with your question. That link is gsmcpodcast.net this puts your question at the top of the list so that I can see it and it just also really helps the show you look like you're <laughs> you're what busy over there <laughs> actually it's kind of funny I was I was doing this actually I was, I was doing something but uh, <laughs> I didn't realize it was that obvious <laughs> oh I shared me a file What's this? Well, it's loading. Oh, so. sushi tacos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what he was doing. <laughs> I didn't so realize it was picture that, sushi tacos. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that obvious that I was looking for something intensely. <laughs> oh, <Whoops. my> goodness. <laughs> I thought I was being all slick. I'm just looking around. No, <laughs> nothing, to, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Don't worry about what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about faith. So, alrighty. All so, Anthony Davis credits LeBron James for working on uh, the three-point shot. Los Angeles Lakers star LeBron James is continuing to find ways to improve in his 21st uh, NBA season as evidenced by him having a career year from the three-point line. James, recent, James recently went crazy in Brooklyn, making nine uh, of ten three-point attempts to a to tie a career high also tying a season high with 40 points to lead the Lakers to win over the Nets. LeBron's co-star Anthony Davis among those to marvel at another exceptional performance from the 39-year-old um, via Spectrum Sportsnet. He commented he was 9 for 10 and the ones that he was shooting wasn't hitting the rim. It's always great to watch. I mean, most points in NBA history, you know, um, and he's just continuing to add to it. But the way he shot it tonight, masterful. Overall on the season, James is shooting uh, 41.6% from deep on 5.3 attempts, which is the best mark of his entire career. Davis sees the work that put that gets put in by James on a daily basis to achieve that and gave his teammate credit. Yeah, he's becoming a three-level scorer when he shoots the ball like that. I think he's over 40%, over 42%. After tonight, probably 43 or 44%. But obviously, guys, no, he's a powerful driver, and now you can't go under his threes on screen because he'll shoot them and he'll make them. Since I've been here, he's been constantly in the gym working on a shot, and it's showing. Now it's even tougher to guard him. Uh, even though James puts in the work, though, Davis was still surprised to see him have a night like he did in Brooklyn. I've never been on the court where he's made 9 for 10 for 3, so it's still a surprise the way he was shooting them, the run the run out in the left corner or on their side of the floor, he's one twoing. I think that's how you say that. One dash twoing. I think it's one twoing. I don't know. <laughs> into it. He's uh, hopping into it. He's fading. He was just doing everything tonight from the three point line. There's only one he didn't do was the one leg runner that he usually shoots but yeah like I said it was masterful just to sit there and watch that James three-point shooting has been a huge boost for the Lakers this season it's no secret that both he and Davis can succeed in the point but it makes the Lakers that much more dangerous when one or both can also do damage from the outside and then Le Lakers LeBron James explains how he improved his three-point shot when discussing how he was how he's been able to improve his three-point shot at the stage of his career. Lake, Lakers star LeBron James credit it to him being healthy and able to get on the court more on non-game days. So, Okay. And you're talking about the game against Brooklyn a couple of days ago, I believe it is. Uh, and LeBron was on fire, just mm -hmm. draining threes left and right. But what what I find the most amazing thing is there's three guys that I have seen in the NBA 
who overhauled or changed their game in a dramatic way that was like so masterful to me. Uh, the first one was Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Jordan, uh, as he got older, he started going, putting it in the fadeaway. And it allowed him to, even though he didn't have the same lift that he, he once had, he was no longer Air Jordan, he was still incredibly dangerous mm -hmm. as he got older in the league. And that was, I thought that was absolutely just masterful what he did. And fast forward later in life, and the second player is Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. And Kobe copied what Jordan did. I mean, Kobe was always a carbon copy of Michael. Uh, and so as Kobe got older, I started noticing that he's doing that Michael Jordan fadeaway mm -hmm. and started putting a lot of those old Michael Jordan old man moves on you. <laughs> as he got older. And I always thought it was like one of the most just amazing things watching Kobe and how he did it. And then, but now there's LeBron and LeBron has done something absolutely different. LeBron, I never literally thought of LeBron as a great three point shooter over his career, but he has, at 39, overhauled his game where you don't, it, the scouting report is pretty much, you don't want LeBron going downhill, driving to you on the hole. It's a losing situation. And that's what everyone is taught and trained when they go up against LeBron, prevent him from going downhill and driving to the hole, which means play off of him. Mm -hmm. But at 39, he has adjusted his game so that he is now a danger at the three a three point land. And he is sinking shots consistently throughout the year. He is one of the best three point shooters in the league now, uh, later, late in life. And now it's kind of one of those things where at 39, he's becoming unguardable. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a weird statement to make that a 39, almost 40 year old man is becoming unguardable. And you say, why that? Because if you the thing you have to do is you have to play off of him because no one drives to the hole like LeBron. If he gets ahead of steam, you're not stopping LeBron. So playing off of him is the best decision. But if you play off of him, now he's sinking, he's shooting 40%, 41% from three point land, he'll kill you. Mm -hmm. Just like Brooklyn, he will absolutely kill you. So if you can't play off of him and you can't play up on him, at almost 40 years old, LeBron's almost unstoppable right now. Yeah, yeah. I feel like LeBron James is like the definition of the grind don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> the grind, ooh, I like that. The grind don't stop. The grind don't and stop with LeBron. I love that because people should look at this and say, you know what? LeBron's not slowing down. No, he's not. The fact that Whether he's... He's almost 40 and he's still going to the gym every chance he gets to work on things that he needs to improve on and then d does it and then it's noticeable. It's just, you know, crazy. Yes, I know. I agree with you. And, and, and you know, and it's working. He, it's not just, hey, I need to get, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm working on things, but mm -hmm. there's lots of guys that work on things. Like I Ben Simmons young young guy and from everything i hear he's working on this shot he's working on all the stuff with his game but when he gets in the game he freezes mm -hmm. and he won't take a shot he, he he's too afraid to take a shot it's in his head where lebron at almost 40 he's you know what he's not only is he working on his game and making a shot better but he's using it 
in the game at critical points in time. The adjustment, it's crunch time. He's rising to the occasion. He's sinking threes. And it makes the Lakers going into the playoffs a, a much tougher team because it opens up the floor for Anthony Davis. It makes it so, okay, pick your poison. How are you gonna how are you gonna slow LeBron down? And what LeBron said is kind of true. This year is a little different. Last year he was nursing injuries, so they weren't putting him out there to practice a lot. You know, when they didn't have, when they had an off day, LeBron was getting treatment mm -hmm. every day. He was getting treatment this year with LeBron being healthier. Uh, he's out there in the lab, working on his game, getting better, getting stronger, adding different new wrinkles at 40, at 39, 40 years old. He's still adding wrinkles to his game. It's kind of funny to say wrinkles to his game considering he's almost 40, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, but this is one of the things I've been saying about people should stop hating on LeBron and step back and, and view the masterpiece that he is doing because he's doing things that no player has ever done. You don't look at a player and say, hey, he's almost 40. He's getting better. Hey, he's he's scoring at a higher clip than he ever had. Oh, he's shooting his highest three-point shooting percentage he has, he's ever had in his, in his career at 39, 40. Just doesn't happen. No, I you mean, know? he's almost 40, and he's still breaking records. Right. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's... <laughs> He's a special guy, mm -hmm. and I feel like people should step back and watch it because there's not a lot of guys that you will ever see again like him. Um, I don't, and, and the thing about it is when you look at the fact that he still can drive to the hole, he can shoot the three, he's the floor leader. I don't see when is he going to be able, when is he going to slow down? Mm -hmm. Like, is it crazy to say the Lakers could easily sign him to a three or four year contract? I don't think so. Not with how his numbers are right now. I don't. Uh, the, I don't that's just mean it's right. A crazy thing at all. I the Lakers. I feel like they should mm -hmm. because even his fall off, unless it's a dramatic fall off, he's going to be good for the next three years. Mm -hmm. I I just feel like it's it's a it's a you know it's a good move for the Lakers to have LeBron retire as a Laker. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to see the Lakers get another player to go along with him because of the fact that he is getting older next year. I would love to see him get, get another player to go along with him and Anthony Davis so that they can make another run because. Bring in Bring in Bronny. <laughs> <laughs> Bronny. Uh, Bronny's going to be, I think Bronny's going to still be in college. Everyone's thinking about LeBron, uh, Bronny coming, turning pro. I think it's pretty much that Bronny's going to, Bronny's going to be coming back. Matter of fact, uh, it wouldn't even surprise me if Bronny didn't transfer. There's little hints that he may even transfer to a different mm. school. Uh, so it'll, that's something that we'll be keeping an eye on too. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I know LeBron wants to play with his son. Yeah. But that's probably Bronny... why he's, you think that's why he's working so hard? <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's drinking that fountain of youth water over here, taking a swig off of it. And he's, Le LeBron's ordering milk at dinner time. That's what he's doing. <laughs> That's what LeBron is doing. He's ordering oh, milk gosh. at dinner time. Only, <laughs> only, only that's rarefied air there. Only very few people drink milk during lunchtime, dinner time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a little inside joke for Faith's yeah. dad as well. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's what I have on that one there. Yeah. Unless you have something else you want to say. I'm about just it. over overall impressed. I mean, 
I always knew, like, before starting this show, you know, everybody talked about LeBron, LeBron James and how he's one of the greatest, but I didn't know the extent of it. And as, since I've started this podcast and, you know, I read a lot about sports and, you know, I've been reading a lot about LeBron James and I'm like, I don't understand how anyone can say that he's not great. I mean, not, not everyone says he's great. The greatest. The greatest. I, yeah. I, I just... I, to me, the are the debate is over. Mm -hmm. There is there, there is no debate for me. I got LeBron number one all time. Never thought I would say that. <laughs> uh -uh. I, that was not my. I mean, when people were saying LeBron was two, I had him at five and six on my list, mm -hmm. way down there. But the last few years, LeBron has proven. Yeah, I, you know what. And if it, I'm not a hater, so I just stepped back and I looked at it and I'm like, you got to call a spade a spade. He mm -hmm. is doing his thing. He's almost 40 and he's doing it better than anyone else who's ever been at this age. So. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. Well, with that, we are going to take a uh, quick little break. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about uh, the Forbes 2024 billionaires list and how Michael Jordan is on it this year. Um, so make sure you guys um, stick around and we will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 